At TSCP, we believe that Gen AI is not just a technological shift. It's a transformation of the way we learn, we teach, and we collaborate. That's why we've made a bold move and launched the first large-scale AI deployment in a European business school. AI is just a tool that we can use, and our mission as professors, educators, this is to teach our students, to teach them how to use AI as a tool for decision making. If you think about uh, from a more, let's say, anthropological way, everything is a tool. So we need tools, and by technology, we mean tool. And yes, from this perspective, yes, AI is another tool but the potential it has to change everything is huge. For younger generations, they don't understand life or reality outside social media, for example. And probably my daughter, my newborn daughter, she doesn't understand or will not understand life outside this AI framework. So yeah, uh, we need to understand uh, what we have in order to, to move forward in a good way, for sure. Generally, before I come to EACP, I don't have so much idea about how to use AI, especially ChatGPT. And after I come to EACP, I use ChatGPT first for my administration, uh, all kind of problem, and help me guide all of the procedures in, uh, in Europe and also for all of the study things. So it's quite useful for me. Generative AI was really exciting when it came out because it felt like the first time as a communications person, as a content person that I could play with AI and actually have an impact in my day-to-day -day life. So I was pretty open to using it right off the bat, playing around a little bit. So really asking myself when it made the most sense to use this tool, but really quickly, I was impressed by the quality of the results. We've involved over 1,000 AI champions from across our community, all campuses, all departments, all programs. You'll meet students, professors, and staff who are already rethinking the way they work. Each of them brings a different perspective of how AI enhances their work and transform ESCP from the ground up. We started by engaging 1,000 champions. We trained them, we gave them access, and we also charged them with the responsibility to explore and to test things and to come back with the results of their experiments. This project, uh, this is uh, um, in the, uh, the course uh, Data Driven Marketing. Um, so this is a course in uh, the Master One. Uh, and what we, we want to do, uh, we have two goals. Uh, first one, uh, this is that our students, uh, they learn which data that they can use. Uh, and we have plenty of data with digital data, but not only, we have a lot of data that we can use in marketing. And second goal, uh, this is what we want our uh, students to uh, learn of um, hands-on, uh, to develop uh, their hands-on skills, that is to say, to use techniques, uh, to use uh, approaches, to use tools, uh, so as we can analyze in the objective of the marketing making decision process. My idea is to have a Vitor bot. I'm creating my own AI avatar, not to replace me, but to augment myself. This is the Ember project. It's, this is part of a major project. And this Ember, um, pilot, if you will, is perhaps the first step in this, in this process. Basically, what I, what I have now is Amber, which is one of the voices uh, that ChatGPT has. He's my uh, teaching assistant. He has the syllabus, he has the content that I'm teaching to a given um, group. Amber helps me to listen to their presentations, evaluate, those presentations based on the rubric and give the students live feedback. Meaning that I have a combination, you know, I have me as the human part and I have Amber as the AR part. And the final grade, the final output is a combination of both. Previously, uh, 
I only use ChatGPT for my personal life, but uh, later when I choose my specialization, digital transformation, our professor encouraged us to cooperate with ChatGPT, especially our specialization is exploring how AI, especially ChatGPT, is reshaping the business. So for most of our coursework and individual assignment is, uh, is asking us to cooperate with ChatGPT to explore a hard topic. I already finished my second semester, but before that, I use it for my job searching and, and last because I'm a Chinese student in ESP so I also use ChatGPT to help me to sharing all kind of uh, interesting and useful topic on Chinese social media. One of the first things I realized would be helpful is thinking about what are tasks that we do over and over again that are pretty repetitive and as a business school and most companies we have an editorial charter so we detail through many, many pages, how to say what, what words we prefer to use at ESCP. No one really wants to spend time reading through the editorial charter to figure out what word we're allowed to use. And so in our team, a lot of the time we spend is reviewing content we receive, giving feedback. The question I asked is how can Gen AI maybe take part of that step out of our to-do? And with the option to work through this OpenAI collaboration and have access to ChatGPT EDU, um, there was the opportunity to create a custom GPT. So I started playing around with how you could input a base of knowledge into your custom GPT. So I input the editorial charter, I put those prompts in there, and I started playing with how our custom GPT could be the editor. In my project, we're not using ChatGPT to write the content the very first draft, but we are using it in the editing phase. It's a very, very big uh, uh, evolution. And now we can really use uh, uh, something which is uh, new, uh, which is uh, conversational, which is uh, easy uh, to use for our students. Uh, so uh, it modifies a lot the way we, we teach our teaching. It's evolving uh, every day uh, and uh, we must be uh, aware of this uh, evolution. Uh, and uh, we, we have to, uh, which is absolutely uh, magic uh, because uh, we learn uh, a lot uh, and we have new technologies, new techniques. Uh, so as we can spend and maybe more time with our students uh, uh, working not on uh, the setup of a software or these technical issues, which uh, we don't like them, of course, uh, and we spend much more time on decision making. We have to eat, right? We have to drink water, right? We have to dress, get dressed, right? We have to use AI. It doesn't matter um, if you're going to teach marketing or if you're gonna to try to find a spot here on the street to park your car. Everything is AI now, so welcome. This is the AI-driven world. <laughs>